Welcome back fellow creators. Today we're gonna to review the different types of trends on TikTok so that we can understand how to leverage them properly. You know, trends are a little bit like shooting stars. There's only a very brief moment where you can witness the magic and watch your fan base and your views skyrocket fairly quickly. I should also mention that this video is a part one of two parts on the subject of TikTok trends. Today, we're gonna to review the six different kinds of trends that exist on TikTok. And in the next video coming next week, we're actually gonna research these trends. We're gonna come up with a strategy and we're gonna talk about how to preempt some of these before they end up going viral. And this isn't just some scroll on the For You page and then copy what you see idea. We're gonna go much, much deeper than that and there's actually a little bit of a, a magic formula, if you will, that I put together that I'm super excited to share. So consider subscribing down below. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to smash that like button as well. It really helps out pushing this content and I would also extend an invitation to you to join the Let's Talk TikTok free Facebook group. We've really got an incredible community over there and I'd love for you to be a part of it if you haven't had that chance already. And the last thing, I promise, I've just updated the, the TikTok tip offs resource. Version 3.0 is now out. There's a lot of additional strategies there. So you can download that for free via the link below this video. As always, let's begin and let's talk TikTok. Let's go ahead and kick things off, starting with the first kind of trend, and those are style trends. Now, style trends are based primarily on relevant effects or features usually found in the TikTok effects library. So for example, at the time of filming this video, one trend that's extremely popular right now and is ranking number one on the discovery page is the I am a ghost trend, which uses the creative uh, out of body feature. And there's, you'll notice that there's also a hashtag associated with this as well. In fact, you'll find that with a lot of these features, there usually is a name or a phrase or a hashtag associated with it. Another huge style trend was the time warp scan trend. I think this was a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months ago. And this was huge. You utilize that feature uh, in the TikTok effects library. People would use this on themselves, on their pets, objects around their house. People got really creative with this. You'll notice with these style trends that TikTok makes it a priority of putting these actively on the discovery page. So it's fairly easy to become aware of these when they're in introduced. New features usually affect the entire culture anyway, so these are pretty easy to find. Next on our list, number two, we have keyword trends. Keyword trends really are some of the most popular kinds of trends on TikTok, and a lot of these are primarily based around a certain phrase or a certain word. Most of these, just like style trends, can actually be found on the discovery page, and you'll notice, if you take a look at some of these, that a lot of them are sponsored by certain brands or they're created to promote a certain app or maybe a song that's debuting. Really, a lot of effort in general goes into these to make them as, as share worthy and as memorable as possible. So here are a couple examples of those that have really impacted TikTok culture. We've got Pepsi's Pepsi Can Balance. Uh, guests released their In My Denim Challenge. Colgate, a couple of months ago, put out Make Mom Smile. Uh, Chipotle, most notably, put out hashtag guac dance. And these aren't just limited to brands or sponsors or even popular artists. In fact, if we pull up TikTok's discovery page, we can see a lot of these include what is relevant right now. For example, here's the Wilds Challenge, which is, you can see, disclaimer, Amazon Prime Video. It is sponsored, and there's a couple of featured creators. We scroll down, we see OOTD, Outfit of the Day. This is a keyword trend. It's based on a phrase or a common idea, or a single word, in this case, an abbreviation or an acronym. And so, you know, these, these, these keyword trends represent a lot of what we see here. Number three on our list, we have social slash news trends. Now, social or news trends have a very, very short shelf life of often just a couple of days, but they scale very, very quickly. It's very easy to go viral on the platform if you can capitalize on them very early. They also, as you can imagine, tend to be very controversial at times too, because their nature tends to deal with things such as politics, emotional circumstances, world events. So just be cautious of your participation in them and, and conscious of your interpretation of them. A couple examples of social slash news trends just off the top of my head include the Beirut explosion, which I know was a big trend back a couple months ago. The US presidential elections is a big common theme right now. The great Twitter scandal that happened recently, even social media platforms in general with some of the hearings in the US Senate. A couple other examples, uh, the pandemic obviously, which has given birth to so many micro social trends, including crazy masks in public, meltdowns, reactions. There's such a diversity there. Again, these tend to see exposure really, really quickly, but tread this territory very carefully as well. Number four on our list for trends, we have classic trends. Now, classic trends are, are one of my personal favorites. They're very easy to capitalize on, and they really are the most stereotypical kind of trends when you think of TikTok, because a lot of them are rooted in song and dance routines. In fact, TikTok's former namesake was Musical.ly. For those that you remember the platform at that time, that was way before my time, 
but it's because of those roots that TikTok still is, at its heart, a music-centric platform, and music still plays a crucial role in the development of TikTok culture. Now, classic trends, I will note, are amongst some of the most saturated and overutilized trends on TikTok, but it's also the freshest stream of new ideas. So let me give you an example of one, a great trend, classic trend that absolutely swept TikTok culture by storm back in early 2020 was, I just flipped the switch from Drake's song, Nonstop. Unfortunately, I can't play the audio here on YouTube, but I'll link it down below if you want to take a look at this in practice. Next on our list, the fifth kind of trend, and again, one of my personal favorites, are compound trends. Now, compound trends are when you're, when you're taking an element of someone else's video and you're adding to it in some creative way. So this can be through the method of duets, reactions, stitches, or utilizing someone else's original audio that is not some artist's mainstream song. Duets really are the best expression of compound trends on TikTok. It's such a core part of the TikTok experience, the ability to actually add to someone else's video. It's like setting up a joke and then giving someone else the chance to deliver the punchline when you're adding to their video or utilizing their audio in a creative way. And there really is a plethora of different ways that you can do this. Here's a great example of a compound trend. Finally, number six, we have culture trends. Culture trends have many different names. Some people call them power trends. Others refer to them as challenges, and they are primarily based on some kind of competitive performance. For example, a big culture trend that absolutely swept the culture by storm this past summer was the bottle cap challenge. It was really the defining culture trend that everyone in some way, shape, or form participated in. It wasn't really rooted in any particular song or sound. It was simply an independent action that others could easily replicate. With culture trends, you'll notice that they all tend to start out the same way, someone else copying what another person did. But as they progress, they get more advanced as each user seeks to level up the intensity of what the other person did. Now with culture trends, these typically are so massive and prevalent and widespread on TikTok that they actually rarely show up on the discovery page simply because they're so big, but they're usually easy to find on the For You page within minutes because really they're called culture trends for a reason. They impact people at scale. So that being said, that's really been a brief overview of the six different kinds of TikTok trends that exist on the platform. Again, this video is a part one of two parts. Next time we're gonna talk about how to apply this information to actually impact and skyrocket those views on your profile. So if you got an extra minute, leave a comment down below and give me some more examples of some of these trends or maybe just talked about how you utilize them and how that helped you with growth in the entire process of your TikTok journey. For those of you still watching, I got a really big announcement coming next week that sheds a little bit of light into my absence for the past two months in uploading. So thank you guys for those of you that are watching right now. It really means a lot to me that you continue to consume this content. It just gives me great satisfaction that I'm able to help out people. So consider dropping a like down below this video, subscribing as well if you're so inclined, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Cheers.